Good morning. So I've had the most wonderful seven days here with my family. I'm about to leave here now where we are today and go and say goodbye to everybody. got a lovely spot on our new campsite I probably ain't gonna do much videoing tonight but I am gonna give you an update first thing in the morning and it's been a couple of days maybe a week later since you last saw me we are on our second day at Stonely motorhome caravanning Stonely Park <laughs> motorhome and caravan <laughs> Even I've forgotten that. <laughs> yeah, so we're at the show today, second day for us. Probably our last day, actually. Oh, it is our last day, isn't it? Been here three nights. So, I'm going to take you for a little wander today. Just a little one. Oh, look. She stinks of human food. You're feeding her wrong, aren't you? No. Dan's only pink. She smells like raw <laughs> So we just met up with She's Rob and Len. I'm not in love with the dog. The dog's in love with me. I don't uh, do dogs. Oh, I don't care. I sell, I give dogs away. I spend £100 on that stall over there. Yeah. Get a free dog. <laughs> Today it's a white Yorkshire. Uh, is it a Yorkshire? Westie. Westie. Oh, he's having a white Westie. £100 on that stall, you get a free white. £100 on. Just getting a drink. <laughs> We're just going to grab a drink. And we've got some lovely ladies singing down there. Jod and Tashi from Life Beyond Bricks. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we're all going to have a few drinks. We've got Lynn and Rob, of course. Happy holidays. Happy birthday. Got to check this fifth wheel out. It is amazing. Look at the artwork on this. Even the truck smell, isn't it? Big four by four off-roader. Anyway, my lovely Lynn has took me to the toilet. Thank you, my sweetheart. My pleasure. <laughs> Let's get back. More drinks, more drinks. Back with all the clan, look. The royal family. <laughs> so it's the next day. That was one hard night, but it was fantastic. We met so many good friends for life now. It was fantastic. Anyway, so it is the next day and we've just arrived at Cheltenham Racecourse Campsite. <laughs> so this looks really interesting. Um, I'm getting the kettle on, just getting the kettle on. I can't unpack me shopping yet. We've been to Morrison's because I've got to clean out the fridge first. Because we haven't actually had a fridge for three days um, at the last show. Which means my fridge, you know, just needs freshening up. Let's get the kettle on. While I'm in the fridge, I've got to show you. I bought this from the show we just went to, caramelised onion marmalade. It's it's like a chutney. Absolutely delicious. I wish I'd gotten two jars of that. And there's where we're parked. There you go. <laughs> Both just had some lunch. I just had a plain, boring ham sandwich from Morrison's. It was nice, it was nice. Um, I made a uh, Dan and Eggy one. So anyway, I'm going to take a walk down to the actual race course. Have a look what's going on. So we're parked up here, just so you can get your bearings. This is the back of it. Literally, we're on top of it. Let me see if I can see you in a little bit. Literally on top of this place. It's such a peculiar place to have um, camp 
camping ground. But we were just saying, if you did come here on race day, we'd actually have such a good feud where we are. There we go. And actually, I've been watching them. They've been building these fences. I'm guessing, uh, you know, like the, where they pause this jump over. I'm guessing um, maybe there's a race due any day soon. But the, uh, the view is spectacular. Absolutely lovely. All right, let's head down towards the front of it, see what's going on. Oh no, I don't really want to go down there. <laughs> There's some workmen in yellow jackets down there, just over there. Yeah, I'm guessing this is all like your VIP um, sort of booths bit. You've got a bit of a stage in there. I'm guessing when race day is on, this atmosphere is buzzing. And that's it really. It's all just pretty much concrete. Concrete, concrete, concrete. Loads of bars and betting places at the back there. That's where we came in. A lot of work going on. I really do think a race is due maybe. Well, what day is it today? Oh, I can't even think. So we're just about to leave Chelmsford Racecourse and we're heading to Asda's in about an hour. We should be there and I'm taking you shopping with me. Dan's just checking out, he's going to be doing the rubbish now in a minute. Um, I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry that this vlog is so bitty. To be honest, I can't wait to just be finished with this particular vlog and start fresh because in two days we are going on holiday. So the next vlog is going to be really good. To be honest, there wasn't nothing to film here anyway. You know, if the races had been on, it would have been good. Um, yeah, just uh, to, to be honest, I thought it was quite a weird, weird weird little setup. I don't know, it was really weird. You, I, I feel you'd only really be coming here, camping wise, staying in my home or whatever, for the fact that if you are here to watch the races, other than that, it's all right, you know, it does the job for a night, but I don't think I'd really want to spend a week here on holiday or anything. I actually woke up this morning. My glands in my neck are actually really quite sore. I don't know if it's all the talking I've been doing this weekend. <laughs> Ow! Especially this side. All the laughing. <laughs> right, let's go. We've arrived at Asda's. This has got to be the biggest Asda superstore I've ever seen. I don't even know where the entrance is. Come on then. This is what I'm after today, a bikini. I'm going to have a look at bikinis, darling. <laughs> Do you want to come down with me? <laughs> They're all horrible. I don't like them. I wanted one for when we go on holiday in a couple of days. Not seeing anything that's catching my eye. Trying to find Dan. Oh, there he is. He's looking for a dressing gown. He wants one with a hood, so that's no good. Oh, yes! <laughs> it hasn't got a hood. That'd be perfect. <laughs> Check them out for a pair of pants, little honey. <laughs> you could serve me breakfast just in them in the morning. Ugh. Grabbing a big bottle of water. Yeah, one of those, please, darling. Let me just show you what we've got so far. That's mine. <laughs> and that's me and Dan's. We were just saying we haven't actually seen any proper food yet. Let me turn her around and show you the aisle. It's absolutely huge. Never been in one like it. We're at the easy meals section. <laughs> we're not really planning to cook for the next two days. This is what we've got so far again now. I've got pasta and a bit of salad. What are you opting for, honey? I think I'm going to get that. Ham and mushroom. Okay, looks nice. Yeah, looks Do you want some nice. garlic bread as well? There's some over here. Yes, Loads nice. of garlic bread. I've never had a fowl. You've never had a fowl curry. He's going for this. Chicken fowl and chicken vindaloo. you never had a fowl curry? I've never had one. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have one now. All right, that's me for the next two days. Couldn't resist. We almost tried to skip this section. 
What are you have one ten cheesecake? I think I'll just have a bit of cheesecake. That'd be nice. I was trying to convince Dan to get this. I think that hot in the oven with some custard would be right nice. It's absolutely taken us ages to find the frozen section. I don't know what he's after. I know exactly what he's after. There's only, they've only got one. I know. <laughs> well, that won't last me right long, will it? No. Oh, and we're done. Not a single beer. The size of this place, can't get over it. New campsite for the next two days. Um, just before then we move on to our holiday. I'm not even sure what this is called if I'll be quite honest. All I know is that we're in Cheddar. Dan's actually been trying for two days to get this site, actually. He really wanted to come here. But only one night was available, and then the next day only the other night was available, and that one was taken. And then this morning, about quarter past nine, he checked again, and he managed to get in today for the two nights. And we look, we can see, if I turn you around, you can see there's one space available, which is about here. I can't see where I'm showing you. So it looks like if there is only one space available, that's ours. Oh, okay, so apparently there's actually a few of us turning up this, uh, today, this morning, this afternoon, whatever. <laughs> so we can just, I'm not keen on that one. Are you? Yeah. Right, right next to the yeah. entrance, yeah. And what, is this like split into several different sites then? Let me have a look, I don't watch where we're going here. Because we saw one like across the road, didn't we? It won't be over there. Yeah. I want to see these grass ones. I can't understand why this is so full on a Tuesday. Opted for a grass pitch. It's all right here. Just quiet and small, really. It's nice. Well, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, <clears throat> it's been a long day. and. We'll be heading off to Cheddar tomorrow, so that's going to be exciting. And then the day after that, we're on holiday. And I'm really looking forward to doing my next vlog, because I do feel this one's been really bitty and, you know, and, and it's gone on for ages. It's gone on for way too long. And not only that, I have some good news as well to announce next time I see you. Bye!